Well, bats, when you take a look at their wing, it actually looks a lot like our hand. So if you take a look at my hand here, we've got four fingers and a thumb. If I kept my thumb the same size and I stretched my fingers all the way down to the ground, pulled up some skin from my ankle and sewed it across my fingers, That'd be a little bit like a bat's wing. So they're not rodents. We actually classify bats as chiroptera. And what chiroptera means is hand wing. So the bat's wing looks a lot like our hand. If they have a tail, they also have often have skin that goes to the end of their tail, and they use that as a scoop. So if a bat's flying around and they miss the insect in their small mouth, they'll use their wing or their tail membrane to catch the insect. Well, we can break bats up into two groups. There are small bats with small eyes and huge ears, and we call them micro bats. They use sounds to fly around. Does anybody know what those sounds are called that bats make? Yeah. Uh, it's like they shoot a sound out and it bounces back. It's right. Like so they make a sound, it bounces off of things, and it comes back. Does anybody know what that's called? Go ahead. Echolocation. That's awesome. I learned that in college, so I'm really glad that you guys know that. Um, echolocation is what whales and dolphins use as well. So they make a sound, just like you said. Normally it comes out of their mouth. Sometimes it comes out of their nose. So it's made with their vocal cords. It bounces off of things, and they know where things are. They can tell a single strand of hair just by listening to their echoes. Well, on the other hand, the big bats are called megabats. The large bats have huge eyes, a dog-like face, they have a great sense of smell, and uh, they have smaller ears compared to their head. They don't use echolocation. We have some pretty weird-looking bats in the world, though. There are over 1,200 species of bats throughout the world. And we've got bats that have mohawks. We have bats that have these weird white pom-poms on their, on their uh, shoulders. And we also have a bat here in the United States that's called a spotted bat. Its body is black, and it has three big white spots on its back. And its ears are nearly two-thirds the length of the bat's body. They can hear the footsteps of insects walking around on the ground.